Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So they finally announced the Bloodborne DLC. It's, it's like literally in yesterday's video. I was like, well, I'm going to start this character because sooner or later there's going to be a DLC. There's just got to be. I literally just finished uploading it and they announced that they even got a trailer out and all that. And I was like, God damn it. Anyway, I was so happy about this. So uh, in the trailer, you can actually uh, see quite a few things. Uh, there's a few weapons. There's even a few new um, armor sets, uh, a few bosses. And there's even a lot of like reworks on current things, kind of like in the Dark Souls 2 DLC with the um, Blue Smelter Demon and a few other bosses like that. Um, so you can see they've revamped a few things in the original game or buffed them in some way. Uh, so yeah, guys, so let's start off with the weapons. So let's start with the one that stands out the most. So they're finally getting a bow and arrow out. I'm really pleased about this. Uh, I'll probably be using this more than the pistols. Uh, what we don't know for sure is if it uh, transforms into a different weapon. I guess in it will because the rest of the weapons do. So I'm going to say it will transform into a different weapon, although we don't exactly see it in this trailer. Uh, it's just my guess anyway. Uh, next up in the weapon list, we've got this um, kind of round saw thingy on a stick. Uh, like if you look at it without the um, pizza cut thingy on it, it actually looks really simple and I'm not sure it just looks like a metal stick to be honest So it's just gonna be hitting people around the head with a metal crowbar kind of weapon uh, But then it looks really really interesting uh, when, Once you've got this saw blade round thingy on the top and it looks really really powerful kind of like the hammer I guess it's probably the weapon will do most damage if you charge it all the way up uh, Anyway next um We've got this weapon that kind of reminds me of Sabrimaru or whatever it was called. I think it was called Sabrimaru from Bleach. Which is kind of like a, a whip uh, mixed with this saw cleaver which kind of like all comes apart. It looks really, really cool. I really want to try this weapon. It must have quite a cool moveset. I can just imagine like a, a spin to win kind of uh, move with this weapon. Must be pretty beast. Uh, so next up we've got this like simplified version of a, of a scythe which is kind of like a scythe uh, mixed with a saw cleaver. It's like a lot more simple than the scythe we're used to on on Bloodborne, which is the burial blade. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's not really much interesting about this. So next up we have a fiery war axe or something like that, where it's like we can ignite it. Uh, I'm guessing something like the tenitrus, where instead of electricity, we've got fire or something like that. It doesn't look like it's really gonna transform or anything like that. So that looks pretty interesting too. Uh, over here we've got like a short blade which also we can't see uh, it evolving but we can see that it's got a shield on the left hand side and it's not just a plank of wood so it's it could actually be part of like the weapon or something or you combine the shield with the weapon I don't know I'm guessing it's kind of maybe like a set like it's one weapon the sword and the shield you never know it could be it could be not uh, it could be a completely different things. So anyway, it's just my theory. And for the last weapon that appears in the trailer, we've got this like pike or something like that, which is kind of like a mixture of a pickaxe, and it evolves into like a spear type looking sword. I'm not too sure. I'm not. I can't really tell which is the evolved version, which is the standard version. But hey, it looks quite cool. Uh, also, later on in the trailer, we've got the beast claws where, but you can see them kind of like diving onto an enemy. It's like it's either they've buffed it up or something, or they've reworked it. Or maybe when your beast hood bars fall, you get like an extra buff for a certain amount of time or something like that. Uh, it's definitely interesting to see. Uh, there's a load of other things in this trailer that also seemed like they've modified uh, the current game. Uh, you can see the um, cleric beast uh, caught a light with flames. Uh, you can see the original Yarnum, but it looks like there's a sun instead of a moon, which is kind of interesting right at the start of the trailer. So I'm not sure if that's going to give it like an extra time of day or something to the whole new world. It could be quite cool. Uh, also, the, right at the start, I'm not sure if the the sewers there in with all the blood and the corpses, I'm not sure if that's the same sewers as the original um, central Yarnum. It could be, it could be not. It could be a completely new place, but I'm not sure. But it definitely seems like they're going to buff or modify a whole bunch of um, stuff from the original game. Like the, the bosses, I'm guessing, are like in a new location, but you can see there's definitely a load of new stuff. Also, you can actually see uh, this um, electric beast or whatever they're called in the forest, which is kind of cool. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, and for last, um, there, you, there's at least two outfits we can see new in the, uh, in the trailer. Uh, one over here while we're fighting Amelia, which looks very, very similar, to be honest, to somebody we know well in the Soul series. It could be a clear reference, to be honest, to Knight Solaire, but you never know. And then there's this other one over here, which you can't see that well. Uh, this guy to the right in this battle, 
Uh, looks like he's kind of got a new uh, set of armor. But you never know. I'm, I'm guessing there's probably even going to be more stuff than what's on the trailer. I don't really know. You can't tell. But we'll just have to wait and see, guys. I'm really excited. Uh, the, the DLC comes out November the 24th, I believe. So if there's any more news, uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start using Twitter a bit more, especially when this kind of stuff ha happens, like any little details. I'll try and type it down on Twitter, which should be in the description, so make sure you go and follow me. I've never really been a fan of Twitter, but I should start using it eventually. Uh, so hopefully if I've got a few followers on Twitter, it will motivate me to actually write stuff. So yeah, guys. Uh, anyway, if you found this informative, please go like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys.